I have the privilege of introducing our next founder. And for those of you that have not met, my name's Connor McGinnis. I'm uh, one of the newer members of the team. I'm responsible for platform. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited to be here and even more excited to introduce Desmond, who I've had the privilege of spending a couple of days with over the past um, week in introducing him to some potential customers here in the, the Midwest. Quickly, just a bit about Desmond. So Desmond hails from Singapore originally, uh, where he caught the entrepreneurial bug early in starting a, a Thai restaurant, where he quickly recognized the difficulty of finding hourly workers, um, which he, he has now transformed into Workstream. Um, after his experience in Singapore, he came to the US and uh, got degrees from Harvard and MIT, uh, spent some time with WeChat, um, and, and now finds himself at Workstream. One of the, the more interesting things about Desmond that might be completely irrelevant to today is that he also played on the uh, Singapore national basketball team, which I found exciting. Uh, so how did we get introduced to Des? Um, so one of our, our, our key relationships, uh, Lon from Basis Set Ventures actually introduced us and asked, you know, do we know anybody with challenges in hiring hourly workers? Uh, which we were able to quickly respond with, with yes. Uh, we were able to bring Des out here, introduce him to a number of our existing partners, um, including Shures Communications, LaSalle Bristol, and ITAMCO. A few of you are in the room, so we appreciate you helping us with diligence in, in uh, anticipation of our investment in Workstream. Um, clearly, th this is a, a pain point for many employers, including many of our LPs, and we were able to confirm that and then make the investment. Uh, Workstream is, is clearly off to the races today. And in fact, um, they have some significant traction in the Midwest and have even hired some local reps. So uh, really a success story all around at this point. Um, so I, that, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Des, and hopefully he's got his PowerPoint set here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Connor. I mean, while, while we wait for this deck to be like loaded, I thought I'm maybe stuck with a very short poll just for like a show of hands, right? So quickly trying to ask this crowd here. How many of you have actually worked with this actually hourly quarters? <laughs> and how many of you have actually hired? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. And and actually, how many of you have actually hired them? You know, hired this actually hourly workers? Cool, awesome. So quite a big crowd, maybe about half or more of you. Um, how many of you found this whole process of trying to hire hourly workers to be very smooth and very fun? <laughs> perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let me see. Perfect, it works, awesome. <laughs> so as you can see from here, what I'm trying to build here is this actually end-to-end -end hiring software, as you have seen now. So just to share a bit more about me, so both my parents, they are both actually hourly workers. My dad, he's a driver, my mom, she's a cleaner. They both only finished fourth grade, so I'm the first to go to school and come to the US on my own. So I founded my first business right after high school to actually pay for college. And while I was in this college, I founded this Thai food restaurant, right? I needed to hire, manage hourly workers. It was very tough. I saw a lot of like pain point and you know, trying to find good people is always tough. <laughs> I was able to sell it in my senior year, went out to join Merrill Lynch, was with Merrill for three years, came to the US in 21, three, went for school at this MIT and it's Harvard, came out west to this actually SF in 21, six. And since 21, seven, I've been actually building this. And why I'm actually trying to build this is, as you all have heard, I spent my whole life in this space. Um, I see my parents, how they work in this space. I've been trying to hire people on my own. So I just saw there was a huge gap. And I saw that all the software that were being used in this space, it was very backward. And just sharing a bit more about this space. Whenever I tell people, hey, I'm trying to build a software to help companies hire hourly workers, they say, 
that's a very nice niche. <laughs> but if you see here, actually, most workers in the US, they are actually hourly workers. There is more than actually 80 million hourly workers. Um, it costs almost 4.5 grand to actually hire one person from trying to source for them, screen them, onboard them, and also train them. So there's more than 2.7 billion deskless hourly workers in the world. There's more than 75% of the whole world. But only 1% one, one, one of this funding have gone into this space. So it's very, very early. This is some of the challenges and its pain point. Um, there's very high churn. Most of the clients that I talk to, they have a churn of more than 100 and this 20%. So if you have a chain of maybe 300 people, this like cafe chain, you're having to hire one new person every single day. <laughs> so it's very challenging. You're spending like tens of hours every week trying to post on job boards, screen them, only to have them not show up. As you've seen from here, there's a very high no-show rates of up to 70% and more. It's really a very manual flow. And one of the things you'll see here is that um, it's very different from people who work in this actually office because every store can be very far away. If you are a chain of maybe perhaps Ryan who owns some like, you know, restaurants, every one of them can be very far away. As a GM, do I drive to every store to try to manage them? No, right? Do I use software that is built for people who is in the same like room? It is very, very, very different. So, and if you see over here, trying to hire and trying to actually onboard them is really just the start. There's so much pain point from trying to do payroll, scheduling, screening, training. So this is where we now start for this hiring, but we see that as a wedge to solve this end-to-end -end pain point. And this is how we try to solve the pain today. So it's this text-based end-to-end automated hiring software where we use AI and everything is all built on a phone through this mobile. So the whole end-to-end -end flow today is very manual as I shared. And what our software does is it helps you to source for four times more people and to cut in half the time it takes to actually screen through people. So this is some of our clients who really love us, you can see, uh, from Kaus Kau, Kau, Jr. Uh, from um, this client over here, he, she was saying, I waited for my whole like, career of more than 20 years to have this software. So it's a really huge pain point. Today we serve more than 250 clients across more than seven sectors. Um, right over here, we have this actually, we, we have this dog that's actually this 30 pager wall of love just because of so much pain point that, that like folks see. These are some of the clients that we serve today. Many of them who are based here in the South Bend, right? Thanks to the team from Max. <laughs> so um, these are clients we serve today from F1, MACD, Jamba Juice, Subway, and more. This is our team. So me, Lei, and Max, we are the three founders for the team today. So um, Lei, um, he's from LA. He went to Berkeley where he actually started this software, software, like, you know, software. Um, um, and he, he actually finished top of his class. He went on to work at this Google for four years before he went through YC with as this prior team. He left to then like join me. We have Max, he's our CTO today. He has three degrees in this actually software. Um, he was the founder for this China's actually Angel Lease, and he got this master's in AI from actually Cornell. Today we are a team of about 25 people from MIT, Google, Stanford, and more. We all feel very, very passionate about this pain point because there's like millions of these owners and this actually Audi folks who have just a very hard time trying to be hired. That's why we came together to solve this gap. Uh, this is some of the folks who have actually backed us. Uh, so, so during our first round, we all met Max and team and they've been really like, they have done so much great work for us from the very start. But since then, we have raised like a $10, $10 million Series A that was actually 
led by Founders Fund. So actually, Keith Rabois, he's now on, on, on my board. He has founded like Yelp Square and also Open Door. He was part of this PayPal, um, the PayPal mafia from, from the past. Um, other than that, we have got funding from quite a few other funds, as you all can see from here. And also quite a few other angels, like this Eric again from Zoom. He just went public, I think, last year for $20 billion. He was my first check in ever. Um, when I first came out to build this business, Eric hand, hand wrote me a check and he didn't, he didn't even ask me what I was trying to build. <laughs> I was like, great. <laughs> and then we also have like Jay-Z and we have James Harden and so CEO for Yelp. And we also have like chairman for this, for this actually LVMH. He just became, I think, the third most wealthy person on earth after actually um, Bezos and Gates. I think he just bought um, Tiffany and Co. <laughs> so uh, we also have actually Holly Liu. Um, he's a current partner at this YC uh, and she has done very well and she, she's been very helpful. So, oh, and of course we have Joe Montana who played football here, correct? <laughs> How can I forget Joe? Sorry, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, he's been great too. We, we, we should try to get him back here soon. <laughs> um, quickly going to the software, I just have like three to four more slides to actually finish up. Then I'll follow up with a very quick demo. Then I would love to open the floor for these things that y'all may have to ask me. All right. So coming over here, y'all can see this is our all-in-one dashboard, as y'all can see from here. So you can think of it like this actually CRM. So when someone applies for a job, they will come into this dashboard. There will be various changes. Everything will be all based on the phone through this texting, as you'll see from here. So when someone applies for a job, everything is all built on the phone through texting. Um, once they apply for a job, they will actually get a text. They can click on the link and they can actually watch this video, answer some like quizzes. All this screening can all be done through the phone. You can even schedule for a time to meet with people. There's no more back and forth over email, over calling, trying to find a time to meet. Everything is through the phone, through texting. You can even sign online forms, W4, I9, paperwork, payroll. Everything can be all done through the phone, through texting, and it's just very fast. Even for this training, you're able to, let's say, have slides or video, and then someone watch them from their phone, and if they don't pass the quiz, you have to keep coming back to watch these slides until they pass. <laughs> so, so what we do is we collect a lot of this data. Um, through our server, we collect a few thousands points of this you know, data from how fast they try to fill out the form, uh, from these quizzes that they take, from their cell phone, from their email. We collect thousands of this data point and we, we use AI to tell you who are the best fit for this role? When you post on this job bots, today you may post on five to six channels, but you don't know which is the best. You don't know when should you post. You don't know what kind of words should you use, right? So our software uses AI to tell you when and where is the best time to post, who will be the best fit for this roles. And finish up with a very quick Demo, if everyone have your cell phone, please take it out. Um, you can either open up your, this camera, um, use your camera to scan this code over here, and you should see a link come out on the top where you can apply for a job. <laughs> so let's see who can get this job. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so you don't actually have to take a picture. Just open a camera, zoom in to this code over here, or you can text this phone number over here, 850-404-0245, and text 6538. Were some people able to get the text or were able to get the link? Yes? You got it, Anna? Great. <laughs> Perfect. So just zoom into this code and you should see a small icon pop out on the top. And if you click on that, you'll be led to a page where you can apply for a job. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. 
So since like some of you were able to do it, yeah. So please try to click on it and you should be able to apply for a job if you want to. So this is the very start of the whole job flow, right? Uh, people can apply for a job through this where we can print out in the form of this poster, put it at your store, or it can even be the form of this name cards where you can grab and go, right? So, uh, so there's quite a lot of things that you can do with this. And once you apply, you should actually get a text back on your phone. Perfect. I see everyone is busy trying for a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. So really with this, that is the end of what I was going to share. This is my email, so please take it down. So if you have any questions that you can ask now or afterwards, please feel free to actually send me this email. I'd love to connect and chat further. Thank you very much. I noticed um, the list of customers you have are mostly like fast food. As industrial companies, is it applicable to industrial companies as well? Do you have clients in that space? Because um, some, sometimes it's having the ability to work with machines and it's more complicated. How does that work? Yes, so we do have quite a few clients in that space too. Actually, in South Bend, I think we work with this LaSalle Bristol today. So we do have quite a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do have quite a few clients in this space that you were saying. So. Speaking on behalf of Desmond here, but. Um, when we first invested, that was an, uh, an important part that we wanted to differentiate to say this isn't just a fast food or a coastal problem or an opportunity that we were able to get it uh, quickly in front of a few industrial heavy, uh, heavy industry people and were able to validate it through there. Also into, uh, I think Don Cruz is here at Chris Hotel, where we had the opportunity to sell into the South Bend uh, uh, their delivery team and, and some of those that they had in operation. Yeah, so trying to build upon what Mark has like kindly shared, yes, we can serve across several sectors and today we do serve quite a few clients in that space that, that you shared. So yes, yeah. <laughs> so, yes. So you're able to, like you say, a lot of people don't show up. Yes. How do you eliminate that problem? Yeah, so there's quite a few things that we do over here. Um, Firstly, we help you to actually schedule for a time. So through our software, people can self-schedule for a time through texting. So they will get a text because these people, um, sometimes they do not check email. They do not have like Google Calendar. They are more savvy on their phone, right? So we send them a text so that they would have a text knowing that when they have to show up. And 24 hours and two hours prior to this event or to this meeting, we will send them more, more texts so that they know that they are supposed to show up. So through that, we've been able to cut this no show rates by half. Yeah. Thank you so much, Desmond. Thank you.